What if you can't build your own app without having to pay for thousands or even millions? And you can't even monetize the app with ad revenue. In fact, more than 50% of users prefer to access links on the mobile phones and it's going to continue to grow into next years because people want accessibility. They want to be able to use their most favorite apps anywhere they go. And so today I'm going to be sharing with you a mobile app maker called Moby Roller. It's a self-service web app platform that helps you create monetized apps for e-commerce stores, restaurants, and such with all the necessary tools to create a mobile app that can be published on Android Play Store and App Store. How cool is that? Make sure to stay with me till the end of this video to find out some of the output I was able to make or create using Mobi Roller. And would I recommend you to use this platform or not? So here is Mobi Roller's dashboard. It does have some nice minimal graphics here and live chat in case you need some support. And since we're ready to create a new app, just click this button. It's gonna lead you to a fillable form. Let's call this app name, of course, Cup and Ads for now. And then on the next page, it will prompt you to choose a template. You could choose from all of their templates or sort it by category. And it will show you designs that are close to that niche. Like for shopping, it has some e-commerce look in it. Education. I think the templates are pretty much the same. It has the icons linking to the page of the content. The designs are the only thing that vary. And from my point of view, I'm not really liking these designs because if I were to create a mobile app, I'd really prefer it to be minimal. But the good thing is we could skip choosing a template and actually start from the scratch to have more freedom in what we want to do with how the app looks. Okay, so once you're done with the initial setup, you get to full control in the admin or control panel. And this is where you're going to have a full overview of the app, the push notification, number of users, and this mobile icon will allow us to preview the app if you've added your content. But as of now, it's empty since we haven't added anything. So we could actually try it out and add some modules. These are all we have to choose from to build the entire app. You've got the standard content. If you know how to code or want to integrate a third party app, you could use the custom HTML or you could integrate your website. And look at this. You've also got e-commerce pro, Shopify, I think Mobile Roller will be really good to those who have their own online stores and for dropshippers who want to make their web store more accessible. And here is an interesting one. You could create your own app for your YouTube channel and allows users to directly subscribe without having to go to YouTube page itself. But in order to do that, you have to set up your API key from Google. That's a token, a snippet code that you add for integration. You just want to make sure to enable login, then follow the steps which you can find once you click this help button. It will show you a step-by-step -step guide for the setup. I'm going to have to skip this part so it won't consume much time from this tutorial. If you want an easier way to use your YouTube channel for the app, or you want to create an app collecting videos from YouTube, like for example call it software reviews, funny videos, you could use the normal YouTube button and this will allow you to add several links like what I also actually did here. Another option is to add your own website. Just be very sure that the website is mobile friendly, otherwise the formatting would change and would come off having no proper alignment like this one or this. The second website link actually looks better, but I was actually visualizing a grid style. So maybe we could just create a custom one instead of relying on the website. But again, if your web is optimized for mobile and you want a mobile app for yourself, this is the easiest way to do. Okay, let me just walk you through Mobi Roller's features in terms of its customization. On the appearance section, you can change or add language, customize your fonts, font size, and you don't want to miss your logo animation. 
I actually like the idea of having lots of options because we don't want all animations to be just the same. Then of course you can change your app color palette, add your images, background, everything that will include your interface design. And this part is most important if you're going to do a custom design, the menu templates. Initially, I didn't like having large buttons at the front page. As I mentioned at the beginning, I prefer having a minimal design. And then finally, your login page design, if you're going to have a membership section on your mobile app. Okay, that's pretty much how you can set up your own MOBA app using Mobile Roller. Before I give you my final thoughts as well as the pricing plan, here's a preview of what I was able to create using this platform. In terms of ease of use, there's really nothing that I find was difficult to use. I like that at the beginning, you can really set up your app in minutes with a template. But on the actual panel, I find the design a little outdated. I've seen some apps with similar panels before, so maybe they could do something on the panel to make the interface look like their web page. But also I like the idea of an easy preview here at the right side with the floating mobile app. It lets you preview immediately whenever you add a content to your app, so a total plus point. And my rating would be 4.5. Effectiveness. I really, really think Mobile Roller will help cafes, restaurants, schools, online coaches, dropshippers, bloggers, especially those who need to put their products together in one place or their links in one place. Overall, it's a simple mobile app builder that lets you simplify and centralize your business into one app for easy access of your audience. I was just hoping to see more flexibility in terms of having the ability to fully customize your designs. Like instead of using the built-in menu template, say for example, if I could drag and drop the elements in one canvas, that would have been very nice. In case Mobile Roller would create future updates or if I'm to suggest a new mojo, I was thinking to create a more complicated mobile app, which is always in demand, like um, for example, transportation, logistics, or in the creative section, photo and video editor. But again, it's a decent app builder, especially for online stores and blogs who want not just to build authority, but to monetize their content. So I would rate it a four over five. Okay, now for the pricing, Mobile Roller lets you sign up for a 14 day free trial. I'm also gonna link everything down below for your reference. But if after 14 days and you find the app suitable for what you need, you have to upgrade your plan to publish your app in app stores and play stores. It starts with $15 on eco up to $75 for business, which I think isn't really that much, especially if you have a business running and you think your content would be interesting enough to gain profit from the ad revenue. So you just really gotta work in increasing the app traffic. Then when you sign up for the annual plan, you will save costs for two months. Really not bad. In case you also decided to upgrade and later change your mind, they could even give you a full refund so long as you made a purchase within one week. With all that said, I'm giving it a 5-star rating. And that's all I have for you today. If you think this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out an update.